Sunny Bonani, everyone, and welcome to the story of Chicharito. This little ant wanted her days to be filled with fun. No school, no chores, just playtime. But is playing all day as much fun as Chicharito thinks? Let's find out. Once upon a time, in a world of insects, a colony of brown ants lived in a kingdom called Ujama. One day, the Ujams, as they are known, had come out in numbers to say goodbye to their queen Nyerere, who was leaving to another colony for good. A young girl named Chicharito was the saddest of them all. This was her favorite queen, and she would miss her terribly. But life carried on. All the Ujams had swiftly moved on, back to their workstations. The chime of the worker ants filled the chamber walls of Ujama. A chugging and a pumping, a storing and a pushing, a packing and a sweating, a steaming and a churning and a woo woo. While all, except Chicha, who, without a care in the world, sang to a different tune. A chasing and a playing, a resting and a dancing, a hiding and a seeking, a eating and a hugging, a singing and a woo woo. The workers whispered among each other, wondering why Chicha was dancing instead of working. Eeyo, but that Chicha is lazy, one sighed. Chicha is too playful, another agreed. And she talks way too much somebody piped in. These whispers grew louder and louder. Everyone in Ujama had a job to do. Chicha's job was to pack the food supplies in time for the winter season. But Chicha did not like to work, at least all the time. The packing was too much. It never stopped. Winter took way too long, so there was hardly any time to play. With no sunshine, she forgot her songs, and her heart grew cold and sad. The next winter, Chicha decided to escape her life in Ujama. Early one morning, she hiked to the edge of the colony, hiding and a peeping and a crawling along the way. A giant green insect joined Chicha, humming her tune, and a uh, and a, and a woo, woo. The green insect, known as a praying mantis, towered like a giraffe over Chicha. I like your song, little girl, the praying mantis said. What's your name? My name is Chicha, she replied, still singing and smiling. It means to burn brightly. Oh, my name sounds almost like yours. You can call me Chamacha. It means to burn. And, um, well, where are you going, Chicha? Chamacha continued. To play, Chicha said excitedly. Oh, let me take you to a place where the grass is green all year. A place like in your dreams. The one that's in your head all day. But, but only if you borrow the biggest bucket of food from the Ujama storehouse for me. Chamacha whooshed away with the winds, with Chicha flying across the bluest sky with the biggest bucket of food she could find in Ujama. A new world opened before Chicha's eyes. Zomba, the city of lights, dazzling below. No chugging and a churning like in Ujama, only dancing and a laughing and a woo woo. A choir of chirpy insects tapped and danced, welcoming Chicharito into the circle. Welcome to Zomba, Chicha! Someone shouted from the festive crowd. Come dance with us, Chicharito! Said another, spinning her around. Buffet and candy was plentiful. Dizzy with happiness, Chicha felt she had found her true tribe. Suddenly, Chamacha rang a big bell from the rooftop of the Queen's View Hotel. The party is over. It's time to check out, he announced. Everyone can go. Oh, and yesterday's big bill is all on Chicha, he added. Check out, Chicha thought, confused. Big bill on me? Her jaw dropped. She asked Chamacha, what do you mean? 
as one by one, everyone toodled goodbye, Chamacha moved closer to explain. To stay in Zomba, you pay for everyone to come to your welcome party. What? Chicha exclaimed in shock. I pay? Oh, my little darling, sneered Chamacha. Did you really think that all the playing and hugging was for free? Chicha, Chicha, my child, there's no such thing as free lunch. You pay. More and more insects were leaving, waving goodbye. Soon, the happy hotel was empty. The winter cold that Chicha thought she had escaped in Ujama suddenly covered her like a wet blanket. She had thought these bugs would be her friends forever. Under Chamacha's forceful rule, Chicha had to chug, churn, clean and sweep the hotel as payment for all the fun and treats from her welcome to Zomba party. But Chicha did not like the work at the hotel at all. Watching the other bugs jam and jowl, there were too many dishes. The rooms were too big to sweep. There was no time to play. Under the heavy weight of her work, Chicha forgot her songs. Her little heart grew cold and sad again. In the chugging and churning, Chicha missed home. She remembered Queen Nyerere's words. In Ujama, we all sink or swim, side by side, hand in hand. We always stand together. She knew that her friends in Ujama would never leave her with such a big bull. They would all pay together. Each day she worked, it got harder and harder, until she realized she had to escape Zomba. But how could she go back? She had stolen the biggest bucket of food from the Ujama storehouse. In tears, she remembered that the Ujams were indeed her true family. Chicha snuck away from Zomba and in the bright daylight crawled back through Ujama's golden gates. When she heard the chiming coming from the ground beneath her, she instantly remembered how life used to be. To begin with, she told the new queen and all the other Ujams how sorry she was. Suddenly, the Ujams began to sing her tune. A chasing and a playing, a resting and a dancing, a hiding, a seeking, a eating and a hugging and a singing and a woo woo. Everyone was so happy to see Chicha. On that special day, they stopped the chugging and a packing to welcome Chicha home. How do you know my tune? Chicha asked, overjoyed but surprised. Queen Nyerere stood up and said, Every day since you left, Chicharito, we sang your song in the hope that our tune would guide you home. And now that you're home, we declare a new anthem in Ujama. A chugging and a playing, a sweating and a singing, a churning and a clapping. Everyone joined in the chorus. From now on, both work and play will be the new order of the day. And on winter days, Chicha, we will still chase the sun forever and ever. The end. I hope you enjoyed this South African story. Be sure to have a look at the other stories in this Wimpy series. They're as much fun as this one, I promise. I hope that like Chicharito, you never stop chasing the sun. But remember, both work and play are the new order of the day.